All right, if you've watched many of our videos or listened to our podcast on long range shooting, you know just how important we've mentioned it is to use a chronograph to accurately get your muzzle velocity in order to have a proper ballistic solution. If we're using the muzzle velocity on the back of the box, if we're using factory ammunition, just know that that, that muzzle velocity is not tuned to your particular rifle. And uh, really, it's likely that it's not going to be exact. And while it may even be a small difference, even small differences can make for really big errors downrange once we really start extending our range. So we want to get as accurate a velocity as we possibly can. Most of the guys around here, we use lab radar, which is kind of a Doppler system, or we use the magneto speed chronograph, which we've had with both of those really the best success with at getting accurate muzzle velocities that really help us be accurate downrange. Of course, we understand that chronographs are not really necessarily easy to come by. They're not exactly inexpensive, and the range you go to or your shooting buddies might not have one that you can borrow. If you do have a range that you go to or shooting buddies that do have one that you can maybe borrow, obviously that's a good route to go that we'd recommend, and it'll certainly, again, it'll get you better than this uh, method that we're about to explain here, but this will certainly get you closer than the number on the back of the box. So uh, really, without further ado, all you're going to need at the range with you is your gun. You're going to need a ballistic app, which a lot of them you can find for free on, your, uh, on the app store or something like that. Uh, there's iSnipe, there's Shooter Ballistics, there's countless others. I happen to use Hornady's free ballistic calculator, which you can get on the app store, and I have it downloaded right to my phone. Uh, I'm primarily shooting Hornady ammo, so it makes it pretty easy to find their different projectiles in their library and then plug it right in and go from there. So that's kind of what I'm going to be speaking off of, but really most of them all work the same when it comes to this stuff. Also, uh, this happens to be a real world example. With this 6.5 Creedmoor, I'm shooting 140, uh, 140 grain ELD match bullets out of this Ruger American here and uh, ended up using this method to get my muzzle velocity, or at least close to it. So, without further ado, we're going to start off, and really the start to this is very simple. You're just going to zero at 100 yards. You don't need any fancy tools to zero at 100 yards. And uh, we're assuming that we have a good shooting rifle here, and an, you know, an average shooter really should be able to make a one MOA group at 100 yards. Certainly you can shoot better than that, and if you can, that's ideal, but a one MOA group is roughly an inch group at 100 yards. So that's what we have drawn out here. Really straightforward. Now, we want to make sure that we're at a range or that we have targets set up out to 300 yards. And at 300 yards, ordinarily, what you would do is you need to dial or hold over to account for the bullet drop that's going to happen at 300 yards because it's certainly going to drop more than it would at 100 yards. And uh, so normally that's what we do in order to stay on target. In this case, don't make any adjustments to your turrets and don't hold over. We're actually going to use our same 100 yard zero and put our crosshairs dead on on the center of this reticle just as though we were shooting at 100. Now when we shoot, know that we are going to be hitting low. This is on purpose. It's going to be weird, but keep that aim consistent on the center target here and allow yourself to miss. We're actually shooting a group. Our group is just low because uh, the bullet's dropping more by the time it gets to 300 yards. So we're going to shoot a group here, and again, assuming kind of a, a good shooting average rifle and an average shooter should be able to shoot a one MOA group. Make sure to take your time on this. You want to shoot as good of a group as possible because we're going to take an average of our group. And mind you, we're doing five shot groups here, minimum, because uh, again, we want to try and eliminate as much of potential shooter error, flyers, trigger pull, things like that as we can, because we really want to get as good of an average as we possibly can. So five shot group here, again, this is about one MOA, which is about three inches at 300 yards, roughly. And uh, we took an average here right at this red dot. And uh, this red dot, we went out with our ruler, or our tape measure, and we measured down 14.25 inches. So essentially, our bullet from our 100 yard zero dropped 14.25 inches. Now, ordinarily, I'm not concerned with inches. If I'm dialing or I'm shooting at different ranges and I want my ballistic calculator to tell me what to dial or what to hold, I want it to tell me in MRAD or MOA. I'm using an MRAD scope here, so I want it to tell me how much to dial or hold in mils. So that way I can simply hold over using my mil reticle or dial using my mil turrets. Easy peasy. 
Now, the ballistic calculators, most of them out there can tell you how much your bullet is dropping in inches, which is helpful in this particular instance. The Hornady app that I'm using does so. And so what I did was I actually went in and I plugged in for my muzzle velocity 2710, which is the muzzle velocity on the back of the box. The reason I did that was because I wanted to see if I were actually shooting the factory uh, kind of indicated muzzle velocity, am I close, am I off? And I found that if I were actually shooting 2710, 2710 feet per second, that I should be hitting an average of 13 to 13.1 inches low. So I'm hitting lower than what I should be if I were actually shooting that 2710. This way I know my muzzle velocity is actually slower than the factory's indicated feet per second. Uh, because a slower bullet will have dropped more by the time it's gotten to 300 yards. So what I did was I went into the ballistic calculator and I just started adjusting only the muzzle velocity, bringing it down incrementally. And it's kind of a guess and check game. So I'd bring it down 10 feet per second, check, I wasn't quite there yet, but every time I brought down the muzzle velocity, it started to get closer to 14.25 until finally I got personally to 26.25. Again, everybody's rifle is going to be different, so don't use my velocities. But 26.25, 2,625 feet per second. Now I'm pretty much dead on at that 14.25 inches of drop at 300 yards. Now, I can use that velocity and I know at least I'm going to be much, much closer than that 2710 was getting me. And you can see this isn't a huge difference, but again, as we start to get out at longer ranges, really that difference there will start to get bigger and bigger and bigger to the point that at, you know, 1,000 yards, I'd definitely be missing the target if I were using that 2710. But now with uh, using the new velocity, the 2625, I can be accurate enough to hit the target at uh, more extended ranges. So really it's quite simple. From there, all you gotta do is just keep that feet per second, that muzzle velocity in the calculator, and then you can just make all your calculations from there. Everything else as far as environmental, altitude, uh, barometric pressure, all those things you can find at the local weather station or on weather.com. Uh, physical you know, things about your rifle, Barrel length, barrel twist, scope height. You don't need any fancy equipment to get that measured out. You can just figure it out either whether it's the rifle specs online or doing a little math to figure out your scope height, something like that. It's not too complicated. Really, the muzzle velocity is the one that tends to be the most complicated if you don't have a chronograph, which again, we'd, we'd recommend if you can do it. Uh, but at least this method will get you much closer, again, than the, than the velocity on the back of the box if you're using factory ammunition. So. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any other questions about uh, zeroing a rifle or shooting at long range or getting your muzzle velocity or anything else that you need to plug into a ballistic calculator to be as accurate as possible, hit us up. Phone is 800-426-0048, extension 5. There's info at vortexoptics.com for email or hit us up on social media. We'd love to talk with you all about this stuff all day. And uh, anyway, happy hunting and shooting, everybody. Hope this helped you out. Let us know if you have any other questions. Thanks.